Hi Leo, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Seeing synchronicities and signs, okay? This could be you seeing some synchronicities and signs, or this could be somebody in your energy that is seeing synchronicities and signs, okay? Somebody could be seeing 1111, 222, 333, um anything it seems like everything is coming into alignment for someone okay or this is energy of somebody needing to um feeling pushed to do something all right somebody being spiritually guided by their ancestors by their spirit guides okay to do something change something we'll see what else here for the collective Thank you, spirit. Okay, this could be somebody you have a past history with. All right, can you see that? Could be a past life soulmate or someone that you just have history with. So looks like it's someone you know. Thank you, spirit. Limitations and fears. Limitations and fears. So someone here is, is feeling fearful about something collective, okay? Um, somebody's allowing the past to get in the way of something, okay? It's giving me like the ghost of Christmas vibes here, okay? <laughs> Somebody needs to step outside of their comfort zone, but let's, let's, let's see what else here, Spirit, for the collective. Love, ooh, somebody adores you, somebody loves you, somebody admires you. You can stand under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A, under my umbrella. Look, I mean, there's an umbrella. I never paid attention to the fact that these two people are standing under, they're taking like refuge under this umbrella. And they look damn happy, don't they? So somebody here could be coming out of um some sort of limitation or fear or anxiety or whatever it is, whatever, whoever this is, it's a strong magnetic attraction. They can't resist you. Okay. This, there's like an unexplainable pull. This person feels unexplainably pull, uh, pull towards you. Um, what's the name of this song playing right now? Gerald Levert, girl, you know, there is nothing I won't do for you. Uh, what's the name of this? Oh, is this baby? Hold on to me. You see, I'm a special kind. Yeah. <laughs> this is so hilarious. I mean, this is cute, though. Let's see what else for the collective in love. Somebody could like old school R&B. Ten of Wands. So there goes those limitations and those fears. Equaling baggage. This is baggage type energy. Somebody's got baggage here or they're ending something else and they're moving towards something. Look at that. Nine of wands, nine of wands to 10 of wands. Okay. So nine of wands is like, Oh, I'm going to fight. Um, I'm going to do everything I can. You know, I'm not going to give up type energy. And then it's like, I give up. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Somebody said they'll give you their time and all their money. I'm just listening to the song. I don't know if it has any, if it's going to resonate, but the song is playing for a reason. Look, seriously, Aries energy. You could be dealing with an Aries or a fire sign here. Uh, the fool. <laughs> Girl, you know there's nothing I won't do for you. Somebody wants a new beginning. They're ending something or dropping some baggage and coming out of some limitations and fears. All right. Or this could be you dropping baggage and old stuff and ready for something new. Ooh, somebody coming back. This is somebody you know, Eight of Cups in reverse. Y'all saw this go in reverse. Ooh, 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 this person is returning. You know, Eight of Cups is like a U-turn. Somebody's making a straight U-turn towards your collective. They want a new beginning. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, okay? I'm just saying. Oh, let me move this over a little bit so y'all can see there we go. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Show me what else for the collective spirit. All right. Seven of swords. Interesting. In reverse. We're going to have to clarify that. Something secret. 
some this could be somebody that was holding some secrets or something that you set some boundaries with. Air could be an air sign. Hmm. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. This could have been somebody that lied to you in the past. Okay, let's let's see. I'm gonna move on. I'll come back and clarify that. But like I said, this could be somebody that lied to you in the past, collective. Okay, or is hiding something, or I, mm, could have been somebody that stabbed you in the back. You know. Mm. Show me what else. Two of Swords, stalemate, energy, undecidedness, confusion, denial even. Okay. Mm. Show me what else here. Okay. Ten of Swords, Five of Swords. Damn, there's a lot of swords here. Somebody is a really, really having a lot of flipping mental conflict. Somebody is about to have a mental breakdown. Jeez, 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 jeez. So when you walked away from this person, it was a heartbreak. Or you walked away from betrayal, the person that betrayed you. But this is the person that walked. Okay, so whoever the person is collective that is making a U-turn back to you, this is the person that betrayed you basically and so now those this person is in this five of swords this mental anguish distress like this confusion this mental agony look at that ace of swords they want a new beginning oh my gosh that's a lot of air you definitely could be dealing with an air sign yeah see this person is doing a lot of thinking the Hermit card. This person is definitely thinking about, let me clarify the Seven of Swords too. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. The Knight of Swords. Huh. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. Over this ending, the world, over this ending. Over this ending. So basically, yeah. Somebody walked away from this. Um, where you this is you you ran the hell away from it. Um, especially I and ended it after you found out whatever it is that you found out here. Um, or this could be this person mm, for some of y'all. This is not for everybody, but like the world energy is about ending cycles, repeating cycles. So this could have been like a repeated cycle that the two of you went through or that you went through with this person. You may have like constantly forgiven this person for a lot of things. This person could like harshly or like abruptly made decisions, you know, like real hasty kind of type energy. Um, three of Wands. Somebody is into something though and, and looking towards the future here. So there's somebody like, I'm looking towards the future, but somebody else is trying to make a U-turn back to the past. Why is this hermit here? Why is this hermit here? Okay. Dang. Eight of Swords with the Sun card. You could be dealing with the Leo. Um, The hermit. This person is so much in their head. There's so many Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, Two of Swords. I don't know. Ugh. <sighs> what's on the bottom of the deck the queen of swords is here again gemini libra aquarius energy somebody could be stuck in their head about whatever this shit is that came out if something came out that caused it there's, there's obviously some energy here that something came out and something ended <clears throat> and that's why this person's in this energy so they could be like, oh, you know, the collective may not take me back because of this. I don't know what to do. They may not even take me back. Um, why is the Knight of Swords here, please? Clarify the Knight of Swords. Six of Wands. Okay. Clarify the Knight of Swords. The Strength card. Leo, more Leo energy for sure. Some of y'all definitely, okay, six of pentacles. <clears throat> hmm. 
somebody really loves attention here or somebody wants you to pay attention to them um two sixes here so and two tens here so there's something here about a pair okay because i'm seeing a lot of pairs here so 10 you could be seeing 10 10 or you could be seeing um six six or 66 could be significant i don't know somebody is like giving um wants to give but they were holding back this person is realizing maybe they were holding back here about something too mm. they're definitely trying to overcome their fears though regardless right they want to overcome their fears they really do why is the eight of swords here why is this person feeling stuck or trapped that five okay now we're seeing two fives 55 okay so two there are three pairs out here so there's something special about pairs or twos or there could be some mirroring here but either way this eight of swords energy somebody feels stuck and trapped they can't stop thinking about this situation or how something went down they're very depressed and even like in some mental anguish for real for real like it hurt eight of swords why is the eight of swords here what is this person why do they feel trapped and stuck because they're holding on to you collective for four pinnacles um there's an energy of lack here um or somebody may be feeling like they're not enough if it's not lack or not enough this person you know could have been stubborn or whatever but they're having some form of clarity ace of swords they're having some form of clarity or they're seeing something they're seeing something what's this what is this what clarity why is clarity here what is this what clarity is this person receiving the wheel so we got 10 10 10 all right the wheel could be dealing with a fixed sign and aquarius a leo scorpio or a taurus the wheel so this person is realizing like something is destiny this person wants to be free um this person could be realizing they want their freedom they could be realizing that um good karma you brought good karma into their life or there was something about an energy that you brought to the table here or they're just realizing it's a divine connection here or they need to they know what direction to go here um what is this wow wow so now we have two fours here <laughs> that's crazy this person is like feeling really disappointed like that they didn't recognize that this was a a divine connection okay or somebody um feels like they'll be rejected or they rejected a divine connection like i said um ooh, they feel like this is a missed opportunity like they may have missed out what's this clarity about so they're not happy with it four cups five of cups two of swords five of swords ten of swords the nine of the hermit look at this the star aquarius energy like so like now this person could be praying and like please 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 jesus like please <laughs> it's not funny but like some i feel like someone is literally saying please like look yes on the bottom of the deck is the king of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy i really feel like this person's like please like james brown please god please spirit um uh, please look out for me this one last time what's this wish wish what this person is looking for hope okay this person is listen what's playing right now jodeci cry for you is playing right now okay jodeci cry for you is playing right now for those of you who know if you know you know what's this person's wish fulfillment here what's this person's hope what's this person's hope hmm to work things out eight of pentacles or to get their money together to have new love and there it is ace of cups to have another chance at this i mean spirit took me through all of that to tell me that even though we knew that's what i feel like we just went through a whole story or something like i don't know 
And he said, I don't know, but I'll cry. And didn't I tell you earlier, I feel like somebody is probably like crying or like praying and like, please, spirit, may sh please give me another chance or whatever. Like, this person loves you, okay? Like, I don't know what they did, but they did something with that seven of swords and that ten of wands, that nine of wands. I mean, I feel like this person went through a lot of things in their life. And um, that's part of this challenge and this problem when dealing with them. What else? Please show me more here. How does this person feel about the collective? How does this person feel about the collective? Children. Okay. Almost wanted to come out. Finan I told you something's going on with somebody's finances. I told y'all. Something's going on with somebody's finances here. I mean, there's an energy of maybe even somebody having to move. Somebody's figuring out something. Um, addiction. Somebody here could be dealing with like real life addictions, okay? And that their addictions are the part of the reason why they're in this tough situation when it comes to their finances. Forget, yep, they want your forgiveness. I told you. They're like, spirit, please, Lord, please, Jesus, please. Anything that you need from me, baby, I'll get on my knees for you, okay? And I'm just, that's what the song is saying. That's what that's what Jojo and Casey are saying right now. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I have promised you I've learned a lesson. This person is really, really learning a valuable lesson right now. Really learning a valuable lesson. Okay. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I know. I mean, that's what it is. That's what it is. They got a bad collective. <laughs> Trust your angels. Somebody was too stubborn to change. There will be divine intervention after hitting rock bottom. Told you. I, t I, t I mean, that's definitely the energy here. Two of swords, seven of swords in reverse, five of, sword, uh, five of swords, ten of swords, ten of wands, five of cups, the hermit. Talk about somebody hitting the uh, rock bottom. They definitely are praying, like I said, and asking, like, this This is person is learning a very hard lesson, unfortunately. They, this person had to hit rock bottom, like, oof, Im immaturity. Somebody needed to grow up. There was something somebody needed to grow and do, okay? Um, and for a lot of you, this person is going through this and you don't even know it because they refuse to tell you that this is happening or this is what's going on with them. They refuse. Oof. Oof. Mm-mm-mm. Spirit is saying, stand your ground with this person. You know? That was that. Maybe that was you in that Queen of Swords energy. What else? What else here for the collective? All right, let me see. Look at this. They're out of touch. Their ego is getting in the way of love. Their ego, excuse me, is getting in the way of love. I'm telling you, that's so sad. That's such a waste. Okay, twin flame. So now you're dealing with your twin flame. Okay, if there was any doubt that you are, they are your twin flame. They are your twin flame. Okay, so... I wasn't expecting that, but you know, we have been doing twin flame readings on the channel all week. I still, I think I still had, I got to do Taurus, Gemini, Leo, and Virgo. Um, so if you're any, if you're not one of those signs, go check out your other, um, go check out the twin flame reading that I just did. Um, if you're one of those signs, I'm trying, I'm, I'm hoping I can get them up in between today and tomorrow, okay? And then, um, look at this toxic behavior, toxic traits and patterns denied for your highest good. So spirit blocked this connection until this person learned this lesson from you. Not in this lifetime. So for a lot of y'all, this person's not gonna get it together in this lifetime, unfortunately. But I'm gonna tell you here and now, this person is definitely gonna um, learn a valuable ass lesson while they're in this rock bottom. I mean, it is what it is, unfortunately. Um, but anywho, I was getting ready to tell you guys, cause I, I don't think I told you at the beginning of the reading, um, 
I'm going to a schedule. Okay, so the channel is going to be on the schedule. So depending on what your zodiac sign is, the schedule is going to be in the description box. On Mondays, we're going to do water signs. Okay, on um, Tuesday, we're going to do fire signs. On Wednesday, we're going to do earth signs. And then Thursday is going to be air signs. And then on Sundays, you guys are going to get your weekly, your week ahead spiritual mess, spiritual guidance messages. Okay. Um, and if you're not, if you haven't checked those out, you should, because they're everything all about you and like guidance and clarity for the week ahead. So, I mean, they're really good, but uh, I don't know what's going on. Um, you guys make sure you hit the like button. Okay. So the videos can get out. So YouTube know you were here and subscribe to the channel. If you, if you like it, um, the messages, let's get some more, um, energy here. This is such a waste, though, like, honestly, somebody is, like, going through a damn mental breakdown, and they refuse to reach out to you or let you know this person would carry, would rather carry that baggage. Uh -uh. Hold your vision. So spirit is telling you to stay, stay your course, stay your course, continue to set your boundaries. Um, yeah, hold your vision and take time to breathe. Yeah, that's four swords energy. Look at this prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus, you could be a Taurus. Um, or this is needs to be the energy that you're in right now through through the through Taurus season. Okay, prosperity lies ahead is like you got some money coming in for you or some sort of opportunity, but there are some adjustments that are going to be required from you. Um, what, yeah, what's going to be required of you is to release something that you really do not want to release. Believe in yourself and believe in your dreams <clears throat> and believe that luck is on your side here. You could be a Sagittarius. Luck is on your side, by the way. You need to work through your fears to Scorpio energy. So yeah, work through your fears. There's going to be some other opportunity here coming towards you. Um, abundance, like it's like you've done your work, but your twin has not done the work. I'm just gonna keep it real, they have not done the work. Okay, um, look what's on the um, one side of this deck. I like you, the other side is date. Maybe this is somebody new that would be nice. <laughs> that would be nice. Show me what else for the collective, please. Uh, now, Monica, for you, I will is playing. This is so, oh yeah, somebody want to talk. Oh, karmic relationship. This person is watching you and they really, really want to talk. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I think you are ready for something new. Yeah, you're ready for something new. You don't want to talk to them. I think you're going to let go and continue to set your boundaries. And you're like, if it's not new, I don't want it. Not today. You don't want to have a conversation. But this person wants to wants to talk. They're low-key stalking you. Low-key stalking you here. Coffee cup is meeting conversation. Feeling uplifted. Okay. And then we have karmic relationship lessons. Letting go and loving you turmoil. Okay. Triggers. And then... <laughs> You're like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to talk. I'm still setting boundaries. Okay, my G, my G. Okay, my G. And look at what's on the bottom of the deck again. I like, but no collective, I like you. Please, will you answer the phone? Will you please talk to me? <laughs> I've changed. Cassette, outdated thinking in reverse, and there goes that date. I've changed. Uh, please, look at this. Kisses unconditional love i mean this could be somebody new but i feel like this person also want it that's if this person is even going to say anything to you by the way but because some of y'all this person is just not going to say anything i'm just going to be honest for others of you when this person does say something to you um they're going to be real love like really emotional um Look at that. I told you. Really emotional. Clingy. Somebody that cannot let you go. They can't let you, they can't let you go. And then you're like, no, I'm letting go. <laughs> I cannot make this up. You have a choice. 
you're going to have a choice to make. And I think the choice, you're going to probably have some options too. Like I said, I don't know, you know, you might have another person who really likes you and you're like, uh, this person won't let you go, but they're like, no, come back collective. And you're like, um, uh, uh, come back. I don't need to come back. Come back where? No, thank you. <clears throat> they said, come here. And you said, no, I don't want to. Yeah, I'm going to go over here and boss up and focus on my money, create um, legacy, getting this prosperity energy, this Taurus energy, getting this bag, getting your bag. Because this says Queen V, bossing up, getting that bag, creating abundance and legacy, leveling up. You're over here on your level up. You don't hear over here on your level up. I mean, oh, look at what's on the top of the deck, too. Glowed up. Glowed up. Looking good, feeling better, transforming for the better. You know what I'm saying? Looking good, making a change. Mm -mm. I don't know. That's right. All right. What's going on? What's this? High key and religious. Mm, what am I getting from this? For some of y'all, somebody who could have liked attention. Um, this could be somebody here that is popular in the church for some of you guys. Um, I don't know. What, this high key? Hmm. Let me get one more for this. See what this is about. Why is religious and high key here? Give me more on high key and religious. An earth sign. Okay, so somebody here is could be an earth sign here, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Tell me more about religious and high key. I mean, they definitely like attention or this person wants you to pay them attention. Um, we already know burning through money. Spending money faster than they can earn it. I mean, I think we already talked about finance and spirit, but thank you. Okay, let me get one more. Uh-oh, what did I drop? Hold on, y'all. I dropped something. Oh, I dropped two. Okay. Two, this glowed up came back out. You are under a contract with someone, twin flame, soulmate, and karmic. I mean, I think you know that this is your person's your twin. I think you know what's going on. I think you know that you also learned a karmic lesson. I think you know all of this. But I also think you know it's time for you to move on and focus on you and be in this other energy and let go. Bye-bye. 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 See you later. Arrivederci. I mean, I'm just saying. Whatever. Anyway, let's see what other signs you could be dealing with. This could be the, your sign or something in your birth chart or a sign in, um, for your person or in your person's birth chart, okay? All right. Only pulling four. We have Leo here. We have Libra here and Taurus and Cancer, okay? Leo definitely showed up. Aries showed up. A lot of air was here. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius for sure. Um, or Virgo. Okay. I should read it. 